friends, it's Danielle from Blissful Domestic and today I have a grocery haul for you. This is our weekly grocery haul, we went to Smith's. Um, for those of you that maybe don't know, the reason we are going to weekly grocery hauls is because we are moving. Um, typically, yes, we do do once a month shopping, but for right now, we are moving out of state and so, and we'll be doing that in the next month and a half, so we have gone to weekly so that we can use up what we have. Um, and yeah, that's what we're doing. So today we went to Smith's. Normally I shop on Thursdays. I happen to have a midwife appointment that day, so we went today, which is Wednesday. Um, I don't know what day it'll actually be for you when this video gets out. I am a few videos behind in my grocery hauls. So this is actually a grocery haul for the first um, week of July. Um, but you're going to probably see it mid towards the end of July. Because um, I still have all the um, video hauls or grocery hauls from... June to post. I still have two more, two or three more. Um, but yeah. So we spent, our budget is $150 a week because we have a $600 monthly budget. Um, and so I just went through with my calculator and my grocery list and my menu plan. We spent $104.09. If you notice in the grocery hauls, we've actually been spending considerably less than $50 or $150. So um, it's just kind of worked out that way which is great because then that's money that now we're able to just we've been putting it into savings and putting it towards our move and whatever other expenses we have coming up after our move we're going to be really focusing on building up our emergency fund again we've had to use a little bit of it and then we will be using some of it whenever we move and then um have to purchase some necessary items for living in a new place and stuff like that um so we're kind of, any money that we can save right now is, is great. Um, and so that's kind of where we're at with that. Um, we saved $20.57. I took advantage of some of the sales that Smith's had. You know, right now all the summer stuff is on sale. It actually was making me a little bit sad because typically this would be when I would be stocking up on a lot of condiments, um, drink mixes, um, like they had... Uh, hamburger helper and stuff for 99 cents. That's something I would have stocked my pantry with to have on those days that maybe the meal plan just doesn't work or, you know, life happens. Um, and so, obviously, I cannot do that. So I just had to kind of walk away. Um, and that's also probably why we're also saving is that I am not stocking up on anything. So it's probably where that extra money would have gone towards is towards stocking up, make sure our food storage is, <laughs> is strong. But right now, we're really, you know, trying to whittle it down because that's just more stuff we'd have to move. So we're trying to move the least amount of food as possible. So I'm going to show you what we got. Um, stay tuned to the end of the video and I will share our menu plan. And then I've been trying with each of our menu plan to try to film one or two recipes so that you guys can have them. It seems like you guys are enjoying the recipes and I'm so glad that you guys are making the stuff and sharing. And I love it. If you guys ever do make some of the stuff and you want to tag me on Instagram or Facebook, I love that. I love seeing what you guys are doing and it encourages me to continue just putting that content out there because then I know that you guys are enjoying it and that it's useful to you. That's the biggest thing is, you know, the content is useful to you and encouraging you and your family. So, all right, let me show you what we got. So here's everything that we got for $104 at Smith's. Um, I'm going to take you through the frozen stuff right now and I will probably pause the video and go toss that stuff in the freezer because it is already starting to melt. It is hot here. We all know it's summer, so we want to get through this. So, um, we got a bag of chicken, boneless skinless chicken breast. This was $6.99. We got a thing of eggs. Normally I buy the five dozen at Winco, but because we had to go to Smith's, um, they did not have the five, well, they had it, but it was $7. This is only $2.49 for 30. I really didn't want, excuse me, want to be spending a lot on the eggs when I know Winco sells a lot cheaper. So I'm hoping next week we'll go to Winco and then I can get a big thing of eggs. Um, so real quick, the frozen, so I said the chicken, um, both of the ice creams were $4.99 each. Um, again, it's hot, so we're eating ice cream. Uh, we also got over here a thing of ice cream. These were two for $5, the ice cream Sammy's. This is just the Kroger Smith's brand Neapolitan, and they had a mint chocolate chip, so we're pretty excited about that. So I'm going to go toss those in the freezer real quick because the ice cream is what I was most worried about melting, and then I'll show you guys everything else. All right, I got those in the freezer, so now we can move on with this haul. Um, so when I am filming this, it is actually a few days before 4th of July weekend. So that's why we were able to get a few things on sale. 
Uh, we were also, this is a long weekend, and so we wanted to get some stuff for, we have some pool days planned and barbecue, family time, stuff like that. So we have a 10 pound thing of potatoes. These were, I wanna say $2.99 for the 10 pound bag. And I think that that went out to, I wanna say it was 29 cents a pound. I'd have to do the math again. But when I figured it out, it was a really good deal. And I thought, okay, we are gonna do lots of potatoes. And I got some sweet potatoes to cook in the crock pot. We have Sloppy Joe's planned this week, and I think I wanna do some mashed Sloppy Joe's with them. Um, cantaloupe, this was $1.49. Um, Smith's had a deal going on that was if you buy six and you get the reduced price on each item. So what I did with these play stacks was, this is something where I knew we would use it in the next few weeks. Um, I bought six of them as part of a deal. This one is part of um, some other things I got that once you had six and you got the reduced price. With the reduced price being part of that deal, they were 88 cents each. The Capri Suns were also part of that buy six. So you can see I had... I took one of these, it was part of, grouped it with that, and then I uh, bought a few other things. And the Capri Suns were $1.99 each. Bananas were 59 cents a pound. Both of these stir fry starters were 99 cents each. Last week I got them and they were $1.18, so this week they were on sale. We have a chicken, spicy orange chicken stir fry planned. Um, applesauce cups, two of them, they were $1.99 each. They are delicious. Corn was five ears of corn for $2. We got some bean and cheese burritos for mom. I cannot wait until we move, have our freezer chest work or up and running again, and I can start making the bean and cheese burritos from scratch because they are my favorite. And so this is just in the meantime until I can get back to be able to make stuff from scratch and really stock our freezer again. Um, this was also part of the buy six. So I got a ranch dressing packet and the Oreos were part of the buy six. Um, if you guys saw my mint Oreo icebox cake. I'm going to do the same idea, but with lemon cookies. We're going to a family with, or to my sister-in-law's for a family movie night. So I thought we'd bring a lemon icebox cake. Her and I both have a love for lemon cake. So I thought we'd all enjoy that. Okay. Um, let's go over here. Green onions were two for a dollar. Cucumbers were 68 cents each. A little, a little expensive, but we did need some cucumbers. Uh, mushrooms were $1.99. We got some tomatoes. One bell, excuse me, bell pepper, mini sweet peppers in the back. Some grapes, they were $1.98 a pound. Um, three boxes of granola bars, one thing of graham crackers. We have marshmallows and candy bars left over from um, a family night activity we did, so we wanted to be able to make some more s'mores in the microwave. Um, I got a bag of just the Mexican style shredded cheese. Hamburger buns were 79 cents for our sloppy joe night. Um, orange juice concentrate. We got three things of cinnamon rolls. Now we are not going to be baking these in the oven. We are going to be doing them on the waffle iron. Um, just this week I finally used up my birthday money that my mom had given me and I bought a new waffle iron because if you remember I've been buying some Eggo waffles in some of my halls and just we didn't have a waffle maker that worked anymore. So I decided that that would be a great addition to our kitchen and it's been really good. So we did cinnamon roll waffles. Um, I'll insert a picture here from Instagram. And so you can see that's, you know, how we did the cinnamon rolls. You just cook them in a regular waffle iron for three to five minutes. And then once they come off the waffle iron, you spread them with icing. They are so good. So we're gonna do cinnamon roll waffles one day for breakfast. And then I have it planned, um, cause that's our weekend breakfast and I have it planned for dinner one night. Two things of whipping cream so I can make whipped cream for we have pudding cups to use up and for our icebox cake. This is, so last week we tried Smith's private selection uh, tikka masala to have chicken tikka masala. It was so good. We're going to do the spicy orange this time. And we literally just take this marinade or sauce, um, pair it with some chicken, the vegetables that you saw over there, and we serve it over rice. And it was so good. Everyone loved it. Um, and so I think that is everything that I showed you. So again, this is everything that we got, plus the stuff I showed you, the ice cream, for $104. This is going to last us for a week. Um, and I will give you a peek at our fridge and our pantry just so you can see what we do still have um, and what we're kind of working from. All right, so here's a peek at our fridge. You can see in that top shelf we had yogurt and pudding still left. Up in the right corner that tub has maple or the pancake syrup that I make. I really need to make a video on that for you guys. And that's some leftover French toast. 
In the bowl, we have hard-boiled eggs. We're going to have egg salad sandwiches today for lunch, and we have half a watermelon still left. In the back, we have two milks. Um, the blue jug is filled with water. The pitcher is filled with um, fruit water, so basically just frozen strawberries and blueberries that have thawed, and the juice comes out and it gets in the water, and it's so good. We had a sour cream left. We have, in our produce drawers, we used all of our fruit from last week, and we only have just a, a handful of carrots left. Um, over here on the side, we still have a thing of biscuits and, of course, our condiments. And then over here in the pantry, if I can show you, um, I don't know how the light is. See, we still have cereal. We have popcorn in the back. Up there, we have lots of baked goods. Um, a lot of these are just going to get packed and moved with us because it is too hot to cook right now. Unless you guys know a way to do cookies not in the oven, let me know. I have not found a way yet. <laughs> um, and then down here, we have... You know, some ramen. We have some our salsa that I canned. And then some more canned goods on the bottom. And then back by our washer, we still have canned peaches, pears, mandarin oranges, and a few other things like that. I'm um, in our freezer. You can see there's the ice cream and the chicken that I put in there. We do have one loaf of bread, some frozen blueberries, some ground turkey. These are the candy bars we'll be using for making more s'mores. And we have some cauliflower and broccoli that we got last week. So still lots of stuff in here that we can use to round out our meal and I will show you guys our meal plan for this week. Okay so there's our grocery haul. Uh, for this week for our menu plan we're going to be having broccoli parmesan butter pasta which is basically just I cook spaghetti, I add butter to it um, after it's been cooked and then it's strained and then I add um, cooked broccoli and parmesan cheese. So super simple it's a meatless meal. We'll have it. I might um, if we have leftover hamburger buns from uh, one night we're going to have sloppy joes then maybe I'll make some garlic toast but that's what we're going to have one night another night we're going to have french toast sloppy joes one night um, spicy orange chicken stir fry we're going to do cinnamon roll waffles and eggs one night um, we're, we'll have a leftover night and then we're going to do um, mashed potatoes with like a mushroom turkey gravy over it so basically it's like a ground turkey I add um, cream of chick or cream of mushroom soup, some fresh mushrooms, and mix it all together in a little bit of sour cream, maybe a little bit of milk, kind of like how I make the beef stroganoff, pretty much beef stroganoff. If you see that video, it's that topping, but on mashed potatoes. So that's what we're going to be eating this week. Um, let me know how you guys are doing, and if you're new to this channel, hit that button and subscribe. Thanks, guys.